Um, one swimmer continues to defeat the odds after a spinal cord injury left him almost completely paralyzed from the chest down. Rob Heights has accomplished a lot since that diagnosis 20 years ago, and he joins us this morning with a look at his next venture. Good morning to you, Rob. I know you were listening to Tim real intently there. <laughs> I was, yeah. Yeah, talking about rib currents. Uh, so we hope this doesn't affect you, but the last time you were here, and we're so happy that you're back with us, uh, you had just swam from Alcatraz Prison across the San Francisco Bay to support your charity. Tell us how that went and tell us a little bit more about your charity. Sure. Yeah, the swim was great, actually. Uh, the, the currents weren't that bad. It sounds like the currents might be worse tomorrow. Mm. But uh, uh, yeah, it was a brisk about an hour swim. And uh, I had a lot of people out there supporting me. It was it was fantastic, really exhilarating. Yeah, walk us through, uh, you know, if you're doing a, a journey like that, like when you get up in the morning, kind of walk us through your day. Yeah, uh, so I did my best to sleep the night before. That was a really important part of the challenging thing. Um, and then in the morning, just kind of, uh, you know, getting a sense of what I'm about to do and trying not to freak out about it. Yeah. Um, I had a lot of friends and family, so honestly, I was more concerned about making sure that everybody was having a good time and knew what they were going to be doing. So uh, that and making sure that the conditions were going to be okay because it was quite foggy. And I didn't know until really uh, you know, minutes before we were going to swim whether or not it was going to be possible because wow. if, the, if the fog rolled in, you know, they wouldn't be able to see me and they would cancel it. So. Wow. You have new challenges this time. Yeah. What have you been up to since that journey? Uh, well, we've been working on a documentary film actually for the past two years or so. There are a couple uh, studios in Chicago, local studios, Motion 66 mm -hmm. and Vantage Point Visuals that I've been working with um, to tell the story of my recovery and uh, ultimately culminating in the, uh, the Alcatraz swim. Really, the goal is to demonstrate the capacity of the human body and the human mind mm. to recover because I think you would never believe and I wouldn't have thought before I had the injury that it was possible for someone to be quadriplegic mm -hmm. and actually recover from it. So to be able to demonstrate that and to um, demonstrate the need through our charity, uh, the Paralysis Recovery Foundation, that's uh, hopefully that'll show people really what people uh, are suffering through and how we can help them. Yeah, it is truly an amazing, uh, inspiring, motivational story that you have. And 20 years, you're going to be celebrating it now um, at Lake Michigan. You said, well, yeah. it, this is going to be a short one for me. Yeah, well, I'm actually I'm swimming with my sister. Tomorrow is 20 years to the day from wow. my injury. And she and I just decided that we were going to go for a swim in the lake. And uh, she doesn't open water swim, so it's probably going to be a little bit more challenging Ooh. for her than for me. But she was there with me, caring for me. She actually took a year off of school when I had my injury to be wow. at my bedside every day. And so she's been through me with this journey, and it's really going to be exciting to be able to spend some time in the water with her. And yeah. hopefully people will come out and see us. What an incredible bonding uh, yeah. that you all would be doing in the water together with, with this momentous occasion. So 11 a.m. in the lanes leading out of Ohio Street Beach, Correct. is that right? Yeah, yeah. and along the lanes you can walk, you can run, you can roll, you can bike. Uh, so it's a really beautiful part of the city. The skyline is gorgeous from that angle. And uh, yeah, we're going to be there for about an hour in the water and then maybe have some lunch afterwards. Nice. Yeah, nice time. Okay, I'm sure people hear your story all the time and they're thinking, how can I support this charity? Absolutely. What do they need to do? Well, uh, briefly about the Paralysis Recovery Foundation, you can, uh, you can learn more about us at paralysisfoundation.org. Uh, but we support... Uh, nonprofit organizations that provide therapy to people who are in this long-term stage of recovery. Most people, they get 30 days of inpatient, mm. maybe 30 outpatient visits, and pretty much insurance says, okay, now go home and learn how to be paralyzed. Wow. Um, and so we want to help those people to hopefully recover to some degree, as well as I've been fortunate enough to. And so we raise funds to help support them in their journey. And hopefully they have, uh, you know, better outcomes. Well, thank you for what you do. Thank you for sharing your story. And we so appreciate you being back. Good luck tomorrow. Thank Make you sure so much, you Anita. check on those conditions in the morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Should be exciting. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So